Hello, Happy New Year to you. I don't know if you make resolutions. I do because, quite frankly, I got a lot of bad habits. I need to stop liking my own Facebook posts and staying up till 3 a.m. wondering what uh, Creed is doing these days, right? Stupid stuff, right? I want to break those habits. I also want to break habits when it comes to design, okay? Especially in Photoshop, I want to show you five things that you shouldn't be doing and five things that you should, okay? Starting off, here I am in Photoshop, and typically what people do is they'll start dragging out guides because they're working on a layout that's going to be based on a grid, okay? And that's fine, but that takes work, okay? Bad habit. If it takes you a long time and it's boring, hey, you know what, there's probably an easier way. And sure enough, there is. Go to View, New Guide, Layout, okay? Selecting that. You can make your eight-column grid just like that, and you can customize it any way you want. You don't have to worry about dragging out those guides. Nonetheless, I can jump in, I can see rows, obviously, I can give it margins, and that's what I've done is, you know, even for some sort of print layout, I'll start to, you know, even give me a buffer on all sides, as you can see. So you guys get the idea. Overall, that's uh, what I've done for my layout, but really, this is the next thing, is you're gonna jump in there, and you're gonna start designing things. So I'll just kind of drag out, uh, you know, some squares, you'll do something like that. And this is bad habit number two, is measuring using a selection tool. Do you guys do this? Jump in there, oh, okay, that's about uh, 88 pixels. And then you'll move that over there. Oh, is that close? Mm, no, not quite. That's a bad habit, it's kind of silly, right? And I know you can select, say, all of your items, uh, these three uh, rectangles, and you can distribute horizontally. That's one thing you can do, but that's after the fact. I'm gonna get rid of those because what I do is, again, you wanna turn on Smart Guides, okay? So make sure Smart Guides are turned on, all right? And from there, I'm just gonna drag out another square, okay? I'm gonna drag out another square there, okay? It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's the same shape or size, it doesn't matter. You can see it says, hey, you know what? 85 pixels between him and his other friend there, okay? So that's how I position items, okay? You can even see as I roll over these items, you can see I'm holding down the command key, gives me that spacing, okay? Even as I roll over the edge, just hold down the command key, you can see the spacing. And that's how I've made this layout, okay? So these are my New Year's resolutions, starting to work on this. Um, I need to drop in another image, so that's what I'm gonna do real fast. So, bad habit number three would just be dropping in an image and then just start scaling it down destructively, okay? That's gonna mean pixels are gonna be eliminated, you can't resize it. So chances are you are hopefully doing this, but you should be. Um, if you aren't, convert to smart object, okay? So make that a separate PSD file and adjust accordingly, okay? So I could shrink that down, make it, you know, somewhat small right there, okay? And if I decide I want that to be larger, it's not gonna be destructive and or fuzzy, if you will, okay? Because it's a smart object, okay? So there it is, there's my earth. And another pro tip is what I'll do is I'll jump in there and I'll add plenty of things to this particular uh, Photoshop file or smart object, such as masking. So I'll add my mask in there. And now it's nice and clean because even when I close that, you can see, again, it's nice and clean in my layers panel and everything looks good, right? A couple more things, guys, check this out. I am uh, working on this children's book, okay? And I need an icon to represent that. I, I need a book icon. So chances are you're gonna jump out to Google Images and you're gonna steal somebody's image and that's messed up, okay? I've been there, I'm not, I'm not proud, right? But overall, you don't have to do that. So start this year off right with a clear conscience because as a Creative Cloud member, you can jump into assets. Market. You can actually peruse, quite frankly, there's a lot of ton, look at the whole set, ridiculous. I'm looking for a book, do a search on book, find it. Oh, great, nice. Couple, I like this one's a little thicker, right? I can go ahead and use this royalty free. I can add it to my library, okay? So that's what I'm doing now. Paul's library. Now, it doesn't put it in my downloads folder. I don't have to even click to my desktop because all I need to do, check this out, libraries panel, there's my book. I've just added it, trust me, it wasn't there a second ago, and now I can position it in place just like that, okay? And this is available on mobile, even available uh, in Illustrator, okay? So here it is. In Illustrator, my library panel, there's my book. 
This is the next thing you need to do. Again, this is tip number four. I have one more after this is don't be clicking to your desktop, you know, pulling from a common images folder of commonly needed images or assets. Really, all you need to do is you need to use this Creative Cloud Libraries panel, okay? So I can take this logo, dropping it in there. Instead of calling it artwork, let's call it logo. Oh, here's a white version, because I'll sometimes just have a white version as well. It's gonna make it a little easier. Logo white, there we are, okay? Both vector, if I drag it back out, again, they're not linked at all, okay, but it is a vector. And what you can do is you can actually collaborate with others. So you can share your library with other people if you're working as part of a team. Let's go into Photoshop, because that's what I need. Creative Cloud, Libraries Panel. Let's just click Refresh, and there's the white version, because that's the version I want dropping in the white version right there, and uh, I can position it accordingly. So this could be a commonly used logo or asset or watermark or whatever, uh, making sure everything looks good and all that good stuff, okay? So, last thing you need to not be doing this, get out of the habit of using the slice tools. If you're using that little X-Acto knife, you don't need to do it, okay? So I can jump in there and say, hey, you know what? Let's chop it like that. What's gonna happen? It's gonna get that white, okay? And even gets more complex. As your layout gets more complex, you'll end up with all these lines and it gets ugly, right? So don't do that. You don't have to worry about doing that because for this earth, I'll just call this book, call this logo, name your layers, huh, people? I want this earth um, layer to be exported out. In fact, I want this book layer to export, be exported out. Uh, for the web or whatever reason, extract assets, okay? So any layer that I have selected, oh, thank you very much, there it is, book. Oh, thank you very much, earth, right, PNG file. If I decide I want this to be an SVG or something, I can change that to SVG just like that, okay? Mountains PNG, well, that's already been named .png in my layers panel. So it'll automatically appear in here and you can add items to it. So I've just added that white logo and that's gonna be my ping file. Everything looks good, click extract, call it a day, extracting to that folder and there those images are, right? Boom and boom. So again, it's all about sort of getting rid of uh, bad habits that just really are time consuming and focusing on things that will help you be more productive and more creative at the end of the day. So thanks so much for watching, happy new year.